Okay, so my idea will come out of our um, discussion earlier on in the um, what's it called? collaborations um, was to automatically take screenshots for producing documentation. So should the code change, you can automatically reproduce all your screenshots instead of having to manually go through and update them all if you've got documentation that involves having screenshots. I was looking for three years for that. <laughs> really, I'm going to be your first user. I did do some Googling earlier, and there is something that half does this, but I don't think it's being fully solved, and there is still work to be done. My view is that we can use something like the Selenium test framework, which basically launches a web browser and allows scripting control of that web browser, and you can then take screenshots. I don't have a solution in mind for doing this for non-web apps, but if anyone does, I'd be very interested to hear about it. The way I perceive it is that we have some kind of simple scripting process that would let us specify what we want to screenshot and the steps required to get to it, um, which bit of the screen and any annotations that go on top of that. It would then compare the screenshot that we've just taken to the previous one, if there was a previous one, and I think just comparing the pixels could show us where any differences have occurred because if the web browser changes or the framework we're relying on changes, then suddenly the page may look different and look wrong. I'm fairly platform agnostic as to how this is implemented. My default choice is probably to write something in Python, but I'm open to suggestions. I mentioned Selenium, but I know there are other frameworks out there that do something similar. I was wondering earlier about also what documentation systems this might be embedded in. Maybe there could be some special tagging documentation system that um, sets this off. And maybe there's some link there with Overleaf. I've not looked in detail at Overleaf, but that's a possibility. And I can see a role for some non-coders in this project as well. Um, it would be great to have some people who write documentation for a living, who have maybe been frustrated by this and can provide some more insight into how this might be useful. And also there's the documentation and the testing and everything else that's non-coding for our own project. It would be great to have a couple of non-coders as well as some people who know how to code on this.